how much electric charge can you get from a Van de Graaff generator? And if you let that charge build up, what's it gonna do when it starts shocking stuff? This is a Van de Graaff generator. Now this is not one that we built, although that may be a future project. So this is one that we just bought online and we're gonna have some fun experimenting with it today. For those of you who don't know, a Van de Graaff generator is something that lets you use static electricity to build up some surprisingly large electric charges. The construction is pretty basic, let's go over that. First of all, we have this over here. This is just a wheel. When we turn this wheel with its handle over here, it twists this smaller wheel, and this smaller wheel is what's actually doing the important stuff. As you can see, this smaller wheel is on a gear attached to this white rod in here. So when I turn that wheel, that white rod starts spinning. Attached onto that rod is this thick rubber band. So as it twists, that rubber band goes up. It's going past this right here. This is an electrode in the shape of sort of a comb. You can see that it's got all of these tiny little teeth that are metal and it's just being held on this plastic sheet and that's just to hold it where it's supposed to go. Up here at the top, our rubber band goes around a clear rod and there is a second comb. This comb is attached to this top piece, which is a metal plate, which has this connecting point up at the top. That, as you can see, fits nicely into this dome-shaped bell. Turning this wheel and spinning all of the moving pieces in here starts generating static electricity. With our two combs, one at the top, one on the bottom, that's attached to this bell, all of the electricity gets built up in this metal partial sphere. It's not a perfect sphere, but it's generally ball-shaped. These things are really cool because although they have pretty low current, they can have extremely high voltage. These desktop models can probably generate at least 100,000 volts. So with all of that, the principle is pretty simple. You turn this wheel down here and it generates static electricity up top, which you can then sometimes direct toward other things, or you can just touch it like this. or you can just put your hand near it like this. This is an interesting phenomenon to try and catch on camera because it can easily be so quick that it happens in between the frames of our camera. While filming this, it's maybe one in 10 of the sparks is actually getting caught on camera, which means I just had to shock my hand quite a bit, but that's what happens when you're playing with Van Graaff generators. You're gonna get zapped. I can also try and make this sparks jump from our large ball to this smaller ball over here. I think probably most people have tried rubbing a balloon in their hair until it builds up a static charge to see if it can stick to the walls and stuff. Well, we have a sort of amplified version of that here. We're just gonna take our balloon, we're gonna start cranking and see what happens. That was like one rotation. Look how far away I can get and still have it get pulled in. So the balloon sticks, and then once I discharge it, the balloon just drops right down. One of the best ways to really show off the effect is to let it run through your hair a little bit, and I don't have a ton of hair, but this should still be fun to watch. It also likes to jump the bridge through the air into your hair really easily, so it's quite a big jolt onto my scalp. So you can see how it's transferring the sparks over to my hand. It, it zaps me pretty well, or at least sometimes you can see it, but there's another way you can do this as well. And that's instead of causing the sparks to jump little by little, you can build the charge up, not just in the bell, not just in this metal bell, but actually in myself. So if I have my hand on the bell directly and I'm insulated from the ground, which I'm doing right now by wearing my high quality proto putty shoes, these things are very good insulators, I am insulated. However, the frame of this bench is not. So if I put my hand on here and turn the wheel a little bit, I'll start building up a charge that will then discharge as soon as I touch the edge of that bench. And it can be a big discharge. Gah! Oh man, like you do these ones right here and you only feel it about as far as your knuckle. But when I do it like this, my body can hold so much more charge I feel it all the way through my arm and my whole body jumps involuntarily. 
Now, something else I think is pretty interesting, and I discovered this while playing around with the Van de Graaff generator earlier today. If I take this powerful magnet and I put it near the bell, I'm now off the ground again. I'm in both of my rubber shoes. If I turn the wheel with the magnet near the bell, there's no sparking, there's no shocking, and it doesn't seem like it's doing anything at all. But if I touch the metal railing, it gives me a jolt. So it's charging me up the same way as if I have my hand on the bell by putting the magnet near the bell. So I have not yet had time to do research into exactly what is happening, but it appears that the electric field generated by our Van de Graaff generator is somehow using the magnetic field to transfer the electricity into me without having any sparks. That's pretty cool. I had my cameraman turning the crank and I was building up so much charge that it was actually shocking me through my feet, through the proto putty shoes into the floor. And so now I'm standing on a wooden board to see if that offers even more insulation. All right, charge me up. I can feel it. All of my arm hairs are just getting tingly. Now I'm going to attack my cameraman. Oh, very quickly building up charge. I feel like Thor and I want a hammer. So that works too. All right, here goes. <laughs> this is scary. Holy cow! What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Okay. We're getting some crazy big shocks by having my cameraman turn this while I'm really well insulated. So we have this little gallium metal cast Lego figure and I wanna see if we can shock that. Okay, so this is kind of weird. Like if I go over here on the shelf, I get a giant zap. But if I go to the gallium figure, it just makes a hissing fizzing sound. It sounds a lot like Tesla coil. So that just zapped me, but it's a pretty small zap compared to the charge up for a bit. We were trying to grab some footage of shocking a small gallium cast Lego man because we thought it would be fun to make me look like Thor. But we discovered that something about the gallium is causing some weird things to happen. Rather than getting shocked with a long arc of electricity, it actually started emitting plasma out of the Lego man's head. I could smell the ozone, and if I got close enough, I could see the tiny purple sparks. It was really hard to capture on a regular camera, but we did use a modified GoPro with a zoom lens added that didn't have an infrared filter, and we were able to see it a little bit more. Strangely, through the little gallium man, while it was arcing plasma like that, the actual electrical discharge was very small. Touching the metal rim of the workbench gave me a huge jolt and caused a spark several inches long that was very visible. If I touched the Gallium Lego Man, rather than the really big jolt, it was just a pretty small one, similar to when I was putting my knuckles close to the bell at the beginning. One of the most popular projects we have ever had on our channel is showing how to build a laser blowgun, and we have turned that into a kit that you can order, and if you act quickly, you can still get it in time for Christmas. That kit comes with everything you could possibly need. We have got a glue gun, PVC pipes, decals, a laser, everything that you need for your own backyard adventures. So my initial reaction the second that we opened those kits was just how much we provided for you. It's nearly everything that you need and it's amazing quality. It's really fun. We didn't help plan this out. So when we opened it really was just like us getting the kit for the first time. I was especially impressed that it comes like with a glue gun and glue sticks and I stuff. I was not expecting that. Everything you need, it takes probably what, 15 to 30 minutes depending how quickly you're working to get your blow gun up and ready and then maybe a little bit longer if you're trying to fine tune the laser which it even comes with everything for that, like to zero in that laser so it's perfectly accurate. It worked crazy well. I also really like the fact that although it comes with the supplies and equipment to make the nail darts with like the paper cone at the back, it's like the perfect size that you can use miniature marshmallows and so you can have like a laser assisted <laughs> marshmallow blowgun fight. Or blowgun marshmallow wars in your kitchen or studio. <laughs> There might still be marshmallows all over the place. Possible. Just maybe. We've got a couple hundred in stock, but we do expect them to go fast. So if you want for yourself, for a friend or a family member, now is the time to get it. If you guys decide to go all out and 
bedazzle one of these things or just make it look really, really cool, we wanna see, send us pictures. There's lots of ways you can decorate. You can use paint, you can use tape. I guess you could use a bedazzler if you really want gems. And what is a bedazzler? <laughs> it puts like rhinestones on it. I don't know if it works on PVC, but someone should figure out how to make that work. Anyway, lots of ways to make this blowgun your own, modifying what we have in the kit. Very cool stuff. The link for one of these kits is in the description. Have fun, be safe, build something cool. Guys, that's it for today, but the fun doesn't end. We've always got more for you to see. That box up at the top will take you to our last video. You should go check that out. The other box will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And this bomb here in the middle will subscribe to our channel. That way you never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.